Welcome to the Horder Centre, part of Horder Healthcare. Our vision is to be the best provider of healthcare within a therapeutic atmosphere, providing a great place to work, practice medicine and receive care. The values of our organisation of being friendly, caring, having pride and integrity, believing in the quality that we provide, underpin our everyday working lives here. And I'm proud to report that 98% of our patients continually tell us that their patient experience here has been excellent and would happily recommend their friends and family. So welcome to the Horder Centre. Please come in and meet some of the key members of staff that you yourself may come across should you choose to have surgery or indeed visit us in the future. Once you come into our Horder Centre, a volunteer will bring you in and aid you with your bags up to our reception desk. We then have another volunteer that works on reception. They will then take you down to our DSU unit. They will aid you with your baggage. They will take any visitors that you have with you down to our DSU unit where you will be met by another ward clerk down there to help you with the rest of your journey. When the patients arrive, they are generally seen by one of our clinical support workers who are shown to a seat to be seen by the pre-assessment team individually. Prior to surgery, all our patients are monitored for their um, blood pressure, height and weight. Sometimes they need to see the anaesthetist um, and they will have an ECG, which is an echocardiogram. That's just to check that heart is uh, working at its proper rhythm. On the morning of the surgery, patients are asked to bring with them um, their dressing gown and slippers, their toilet bag, um, all the medication. They can bring anything in with them like their iPad, book, biscuits, juices that they can always have after their surgery. Before surgery, all our patients walk to the operating department from the day services unit, which is not far away from here along the corridor. The first place you're looked after in the operating department is in the anaesthetic room. And then we verify the patient's consent with them again to make sure that they're still happy to go ahead with the procedure and they don't have any more questions that they want to ask either of us or of the surgeon who's doing the case. Once the consultant anaesthetist and his support team have put the patient to sleep and everything's safe and ready to go, we move the patient from the anaesthetic room into the operating theatre, then surgery can get underway. Once the operation has taken place, the whole theatre team with the consultant anaesthetist and the consultant surgeon supervise the safe transfer of the patient from the operating theatre to our recovery unit, which is just next door. And once the patient is very clearly wide awake and able to look after themselves and is happy themselves to go back to the ward, we ring the ward and then transfer the patient back up to their own room. As a patient, you'll return from theatre to your single room and you're assessed as being safe. It's important that we make regular observations on your return and these will start usually half hourly including such things as temperature, pulse, blood pressure, your oxygen levels and these are non-invasive observations and tests that we make upon you. Once we assess that you are safe we will aim to get you out of your bed after your major surgery, hip and knee replacement within about four to six hours. During your stay on Duffin please feel welcome and free to raise any concerns that you may have as we are here to assist you in your recovery. The food is prepared freshly every day by our team of chefs. We use a bakery from Sussex, local supplier for our, our bread, bakery that bakes freshly every day. Uh, it's all local. The fruit and veg is sourced from the supplier in Crowborough. You can expect freshly made soups, hot main courses, salads, everything and anything that you want to eat to make you better basically. Whilst you're on Duffin, you will be cared for by a range of staff. Every patient is allocated to a registered nurse and also a care assistant during your stay. Physiotherapy will soon start and that includes two sessions daily. One of the main reasons why we do like patients to come to the gym is for education purposes. We're very keen that patients are well informed about the surgery that they've had done and what to expect afterwards. We have a therapy garden you coping okay with that? You sure? The sun's beautiful, isn't it? We've got different surfaces that patients can practice walking on. We've got um, concrete, gravel, stones. We have a curb which has been created so that patients can simulate going up and down a curb. We have a small slope and we have a set of parallel bars. Not too much weight on the bars. That's lovely and wonderful. At the point of discharge, you'll be assessed by a nurse, a physiotherapist and a doctor, and this is to check that you're medically fit to leave 
and you've met the required targets, such as can you walk alone safely. Upon discharge, if you please continue to use your advice booklet, and if you're unsure at any time, you're more than welcome to contact the ward with any aftercare concerns, and we'll aim to assist you in those. My experience was very good at the Horder Centre. I got to about 70 years old and was told that I needed a new knee joint. Um, and having never been in hospital for all those years, deep worry set in. Um, but I spoke to the surgeon here. He uh, put my mind at rest. I had the operation, which was very successful and the aftercare was superb. After my operation, they were looking for volunteers and I went down into the car park as a volunteer there. I've met some great people from all walks of life. I've had some good laughs with them. Really enjoyed my volunteering at the Horner Centre.